Now, moving on to issues of the economic freedom fighters, the eight members of the party facing charges of public violence during the anti-racism protest, which was held at Brackenfell High School last Friday, have now been released on warning. They are expected back in court on the 12th of February 2021. Our reporter, Atim Tongana, is there covering that story for us and filed this report. Advocate Daniel Zanzi represented the eight members of the Economic Freedom Fighters who appeared at the Blue Downs Magistrates Court this morning. Now he is here next to me and I'm going to have a conversation with you, Advocate. I just want to understand, particularly this case, of course, where they were arrested for public violence and uh, the schedule of offence that is pertaining to these charges. Uh, the schedule for which they have been charged with is Schedule 1 offence. Uh, because of the nature of the damages that were uh, caused at the place of the incident. Um, whether we agree with that or we don't is a case on its own. That will be uh, clarified during the um, trial itself, which will uh, hopefully resume as soon as possible next year. Right Now, before I let you go, I would just like to understand legally how this works. When we saw uh, a couple of days ago or weeks ago when uh, one member of the public who discharged an egg gun in a municipal area regarding the situation where we saw members of the Economic Freedom Fighters assaulted, he was arrested and released on the same day on a warning. And again, when he appeared in court, he was uh, released on warning. And the charges, of course, pertaining to discharging an air gun in a municipal area versus the charges and the Schedule 1 offence for the eight that appeared today. Who gets to be arrested and released on the same day? How, how does it work legally? Uh, first of all, who arrests and releases? That is the, the, that is the duty of the police. Who prosecutes? And refuses to or and or prose, refuses to prosecute. That is the duty of the National Prosecuting Authority. And uh, the unfortunate event is that every time the defence attorney or the defence team will have to defend what is brought upon by the NPA. And in this case, it is the South African Police Service that arrested and released a person that is clearly on the other side of the law. Discharging a firearm is a more serious offence than the charges that are put against my clients here and <clears throat> excuse me as i had maintained even with the police in brackenfell last friday that they must release my client at once however they had uh, their own uh, reasons which i feel it was important to confirm addresses of the archus Advocate Daniel, thank you so much for your time. Uh, Advocate Daniel representing the eight members of the Economic Freedom Fighters who have now been released on warning to return again in court on the 12th of February next year. For Newsroom Africa on Channel 405, I'm Atim Tongana in Cape Town.